This is how the kit comes, and I'm gonna show you what's inside when you open it up. This is the three oyster mushroom kit. So it has the golden, the pink, and the blue king mushroom. And they're just um, vials with needles and then a packet of instructions. The instructions are fabulous. They're detailed and written out so that there's no question of what to do. And I have gotten the supplies already. What we're gonna need is the mushroom kit itself, some isopropyl alcohol to sterilize everything, these packets of already cooked grains of rice. This will be our substrate to grow the mushrooms on. Some first aid breathable tape. A hole punch, or you can also use scissors. And a pair of scissors. Okay, I have completed step one in sterilizing my environment and everything in it, including my hands, the scissors, the hole punch, everything. And now I'm going to inoculate the bag. So it comes like this, and I'm going to take this out and put this in, and I'm only going to use one milliliter of the solution. So you can see here, she's given me a full 10 milliliters, so you have plenty. You could put this in the refrigerator and do more. So let's get started. I'm gonna take this little stopper out and open this needle, if I can get it. There we go. I'm going to screw that in right there. Obviously, this part needs adult supervision. I'm going whoops, to pull this off and I'm gonna put a hole in my bag and I'm gonna watch the milliliter at the bottom here and put in just one milliliter of liquid. So the instructions are very clear that if you do more, it's a little hard in the beginning, that you could end up um, causing your rice bags to spoil. So there's the first one. I'm gonna put this back in the bag. And then I need a tiny piece of tape to cover that injection site right here, like that. Okay, that's the first bag keep this together and I inoculated it with golden mushroom. Mushrooms need air to grow the mycelium. So we're going to provide that air by punching holes in the top of our bag. So grab your hole punch and squeeze the bag at the top. And we're gonna put a few holes there. So each time you put a hole, you need to cover it with the breathable tape on both sides. And we need several of these holes. Okay, after your bag is inoculated and then aerated with the tape over it, now it's time to wait. You can see the mycelium growing in this little window at the bottom of the bag. Okay, we're on day eight, not quite day 10, but I have a couple that are already starting to do really well. See the white area there? That's the mycelium growing nice and strong and the texture of the bag has changed it's not squishy you can't feel the individual rice as much it's more hard and dense 
and this one is almost ready um, to start fruiting. And then this one also, not quite as strong as the other one, but you can still see the mycelium growing. Okay, we are on day 10, and I'm looking, you can see here that I have full growth on this one and this package here. They are ready for fruiting. And these, I can see some of the mycelium starting to grow, but it's not completely cultivated, so I'm gonna wait on this one. And the same for this one. And I can also feel that the texture, this is firming up, but it's still a little squishy. So I'm gonna wait on those two. I'm gonna work on these and create two two inch slits in different places on the bag. So I'm just gonna cut there. I'm actually gonna do a little X so it makes it easier to fold back. And then I'm gonna do one over here in a different spot. And then I'm gonna open these guys up a little bit and do a little spray in there. And I'm just gonna do that daily, spray them daily. So then I'm also gonna do the same thing over here. This one's very firm. I'm gonna go over here and put a slit here for them to grow. And then one quite a ways away over here. All right. Spritz these. Open them up a little bit. and wait for them to fruit. It's about seven days after the slits and we can see pens starting to show. This is the pink oyster mushroom and this one is the blue king.